what is good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video we have another trade to talk about as the cleveland cavaliers have just traded for Karis Avert from the Indiana Pacers. Now, before we get into the trade and what it all entails, I'm gonna just quickly ask you guys to leave a like on this video and of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you've not already, helps grow the channel, so thank you guys so much for that. So honestly, it's been a pretty boring Sunday. I tried to record a video last night and uh, 2K, the 2K share scenario file that I usually use was just kept crashing, I don't know why. So we're using a different one today, so I really hope everything is not too crazy, but that doesn't matter. We're talking about Cavaliers and the Pacers. So. Uh, this is the trade, basically. So Ricky Rubio and a lottery protected first round pick and two future seconds over to the Indiana Pacers for Karis Avert and a future second round pick, or I guess a 2022 Miami Heat second round pick. So I think this is a huge W for Cleveland. Now, what does this mean for Cleveland's future with uh, Garland and Sexton in the backcourt? I have no idea, but obviously that's for the offseason to talk about. But just the immediate impact, obviously Cleveland possibly being a playoff team this year, most likely going to be one. This is a great pickup, and I really like the addition of Karis Avert here, especially with, like I said, Colin Sexton gone. I think this makes a ton of sense, and this is a huge W for Cleveland. So let's just go ahead and take a look at what this would look like right now, currently constructed. So we got Garland, Karis Avert for Osmond, Mobley, and Jarrett Allen. And then I do also probably want to do an Indiana Pacers rebuild tomorrow, most likely. Uh, although I know they're going to be probably be making more trades, I guess we can kind of just like do some predictions. I'll talk about the Pacers more tomorrow. Um, but getting a first round pick for Karis Avert, I think is a W for Indiana. I'll say that. So our, uh, it's a lot of protected, but still he at least got a first for him. So I, I do like that. Unlike my Blazers who can't get a first for Norm Powell for some reason, but Garland, Jarrett Allen, Karis Avert. And then of course you got Evan Mobley, Laura Markin. And so honestly, this is a huge W. So let's take a look, like I said, at the rotation and not talk about Indiana anymore. We're talking strictly about Cleveland. So Garland, Levert, and then you got Osmond, Evan Moby, Jarrett Allen, Kevin Love. So obviously the front court is great. We're going to leave that the way it is. Uh, do we want to play Karis Avert at small forward potentially, or do we want to just maybe and then have a Koro jump into this junior guard spot? I kind of want to do it like that actually. Or we could do is I think we could technically move a Koro to small forward and he goes up quite a bit. Uh, he's up to a 77 overall. So I mean, we could run it either way. It really doesn't matter. I don't want to start Rondo. I know that for sure. Is Rondo really a 79 overall in 2K? I actually was not aware of that. Uh, maybe it's just the file I'm using, though. I wouldn't be too surprised. Uh, so I apologize that this file sucks, but it is what it is. It's the only one I could use because uh, the one I usually use just kept crashing the game for some reason. So, um, But it's, all, it's almost a blessing because I didn't upload a video today that didn't matter. So I guess I'm a little happy about it. So we're actually just going to run... Um, Curse of our shooting guard, and I think I moved a Coro back to small forward on accident. But we're just going to go ahead and still make the rest of the season with the starting five that we have right now. So, Karis of our Garland, a Coro, Mobley, Jarrett Allen. Then you got Kevin Love, Lori Markinen, Rondo, Osman, and then Dean Wade. And then one thing I do want to do is I want to make sure this draft class is actually decent. So, um, I'm actually going to load a different one. Let's load the one I like uh, the most in this guy. It's the one I usually use. But let's still make the rest of the season. Uh, Karis Avert in Cleveland. I love it for him, and uh, let's see how this is going to do for the rest of the video. So unfortunately for us in the simulation, we ended up as a 10th seed in the East. Giannis wins MVP, Scotty Barnes Rookie of the Year. So we kind of fell out of the postseason in a little bit. I mean, we're still in the plan tournament, so we'll definitely take that. Uh, but very disappointed that obviously we're not like one of the top seeds where we were. So um, we can take a look at the player stats real quick, though, as we had 17 from Garland, 15 from Jerry Allen, 15 from Evan Moley, 15 from Levert, and 13 from Kevin Love. So... I'm honestly kind of noticing uh, that this file might be a little trash. I'm not going to lie. John Morant's only averaging 18. Uh, Anthony Davis, 24. So I don't know, man. Uh, it is what it is. I, the one I used just wasn't working. So whatever. Uh, I don't love Garland averaging only that little amount of points uh, with no scores here, but I guess it's fine. So we'll go ahead and uh, simulate the plan tournament. We're going to go up against the New York Knicks. So the New York Knicks have Derrick Rose, Fournier, RJ Barrett, Julius Randle, Mitch Robinson, in New Orleans, the well. So, uh, I mean, let's go ahead and see if we can beat the New York Knicks and get into the playoffs. Uh, we're going to lose. So, we're not going to get into the playoffs whatsoever, which I don't think would actually happen in real life, but it is what it is. We got the LA teams and the Los Angeles Clippers go on to win it all. A healthy Clippers team with Kawhi, uh, Paul George, and I assume Norman Powell is there, obviously, as well. So, yeah, Kawhi, Paul George, Norman Powell get it done for the Los Angeles Clippers over the Bucks in five games. But we have more work to do this offseason with uh, the whole Colin Sexton thing. Today's video is brought to you by Halftime. Think of any social media that you use, but it's only dedicated to us diehard sports fans. Let me show you how it works. When you open up the app, this is what it's going to look like. It's nothing but sports. That's all you're going to see. You can see news from any sport you want to look at. Just scroll through MLB, UFC, NCAA, and then you got scores. If you want to look at scores for today or the previous day to see what happened the previous day, 
Also have the ability to choose your favorite teams, whatever teams you want to put on there. You can put as many as you want. You can also choose your favorite players to follow and post in those players. And I'll show you how that works in a second. So this is what the posts are going to look like. You can literally choose any club you want to post it to. You can choose it to a whole league. You can choose it to just a certain team. There's much, much more you could do with this app, but this is just a small sample size and a little bit of an example of what you could do here on halftime. So like I said, halftime is just a social media app that's literally just dedicated to sports. So nothing else. And there's also zero trolls halftime prides themselves on no trolls and no negativity on the app so if you're interested in that at all the link to download is in the description also the link to my profile if you want to follow it is on there as well i'll see you guys there on halftime so this is going to be a pretty important off season for cleveland obviously with whole the colin sexton being a restricted free agent um i'm not really sure what's going to happen with him does cleveland see him as a uh and also the Pacers get our lottery pick which is really unfortunate uh actually it was lottery protected so we keep it don't we 12th pick for us uh which i again in real life i don't think that would be the case but we keep the 12th pick i guess we'll take it staff signing JB Bickerstaff. We'll probably leave this all the same. Uh, we'll grab a wing whisper real quick in Toscano. And just kidding, we don't have essential jobs. So I'm not even going to worry about it. So let's go to the draft. And uh, we have the 12th pick. And then I do, like I said, I do want to look at some of the contracts we have. So we have Jared Allen, of course, Harris Avert, Laurie Markin, and Evan Mobley, Kevin Love, and Osman. So I do want to trade Kevin Love this offseason, honestly. I think uh, it'd be nice to free Kevin Love out of here. I know he's actually had a little bit of a resurgence with Cleveland, but. I'm still going to trade him away and just try to free up uh, some more minutes for some other guys. So um, now who would want Kevin Love is the question. You know, I don't know, but uh, maybe we could work something out. So Doug McDermott and a second round pick from the Spurs. You got McLaughlin, Jared Vanderbilt, the Wizards, Davis Bertans. I mean, it just kind of depends. So you, we could dump Kevin Love off, but nobody's really biting. I don't really see a trade that I like realistically, to be honest, unless we traded a first round pick to get off Kevin Love's contract. But then again, I'm not sure why Detroit would trade a couple of young guys to do that. So, yeah, we might be stuck with Kevin Love for now. So, I'm actually not going to trade him yet. We're just going to go to the draft, I guess. So, let's go to the draft. And uh, let's see if we can get at number 12. Since we kept our lottery pick, obviously, we're going to see what we can grab here. So, we have Keegan Murray, Benedict Matherin. Uh, you got Marjan Buchamp, Ty Ty Washington, Jaden Hardy, uh, Minu Mohamed, uh, Harrison Ingram. So, I think I want to take Keegan Murray here, actually. So, I'm going to take Keegan Murray here with my 12th pick um wrl let me know and then uh we got dyson daniels trevor keels i mean i'm gonna just take dyson daniels here i guess with this selection and uh we'll be cool on that send me in on that and we come out of the draft with dyson daniels keegan murray and marcus carr so welcome to the team all three of you guys you got dean wade i'm going to accept weinler stevens i'm gonna accept all these and then uh qualifying offers colin sexton is a uh restricted free agent which like i said is going to be important so um this will be an interesting one. I cannot say and I cannot predict that I don't really know what Cleveland's going to do. Do they see Garland, Sexton, and Levert as the thing they want to go with for the future? Or do they potentially are like, hey, maybe we should play uh, Levert as shooting guard and do a sign and trade with Colin Sexton or something like that? I think both possibilities are very like both possibilities are very likely i'm just not really sure which route cleveland's gonna go with that so um it'd be hard for me to predict and to tell you what i think is gonna happen so i'm just gonna kind of fill it out so one thing i do want to do is our small forward position obviously I have coro keegan murray osmond so there's a lot of small forwards here still very much want to trade kevin love if possible and then of course we do need to do a sign of trade with colin sexton i can't just see him walk for nothing or we need to keep him so one or the other i don't want to just see him walk for nothing and i also don't want to just like uh, not keep them if you know what I mean so uh as far as free agents I don't really think we need to be exploring free agency too much I think our biggest thing is Sexton's getting a one-year deal from the Cleveland Cow or from the Chicago Bulls so we might not even get a say about a sign and trade because I believe if he gets one year doesn't he get like a no trade clause here in 2k or something weird like that so if Sexton gets a one-year 12 million dollar contract I think we have to match that letting him walk for nothing would just be dumb so I'm not going to do that so now you have Colin Sexton. And let me make sure that isn't the case. I'm pretty sure. And no, he doesn't have a no trade clause. So technically, we could match it. And then we could trade him if we wanted to. We could throw Colin Sexton out here and trade him away. Uh, but since we did match the Chicago Bulls contract, it almost makes me want to just keep him, to be honest with you. Now, I see the world where Cleveland might trade him, like I said. But I'm just going to keep him, I, actually, I think. I'm going to keep Sexton and Garland. And I'm going to throw Karis Avert at small forward, I think. That's what I think I'm going to run. So you're going to have Garland. And then you're going to have Sexton, obviously defensively it's a little interesting but uh we'll see how that's going to go for the future Laurie marketing and then evan mobley kevin love so one thing i do want to do is like i said i want to trade kevin love 
And I think I want to move Lori Markin to power forward. Uh, so we'll move Markin back to the four. And then I still want to very much figure out a trade on getting Kevin Love out of here. So, or we could technically just buy out his contract as well here in 2K, which might be the other route I decided to go low key. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm just going to buy out Kevin Love instead of trading his ginormous contract. I'm going to buy him out. I'm going to release him. And that's going to buy out his contract. So we're not going to have Kevin Love anymore, which is a guy I very much wanted to move on from anyway. So you got Markkinen, Evan Mobley, and then Jarrett Allen. So the only other thing I think I want to do is I also want to trade Osman for maybe like a backup center potentially. Could use a backup point guard as well. So there's, you know, quite a bit that we could use here. But uh, I do want to trade Osman, who I don't see as a guy that's going to be cracking the rotation too much for us. So I'm going to go ahead and throw Osman out there and kind of see what I can get for him. Of course, Patrick Williams would be great, but I don't see Chicago doing something like that. Uh, what else can we get? Taylor Horn Tucker in a first. I don't know why the Lakers would want that too much. Even Al Horford would be interesting. Um, the Rockets, maybe take a 27-year-old Pokoshevsky. The Thunder, or maybe we might just be stuck with him low-key. I don't really see anything that I like that makes a lot of sense for me. Um, I'm not going to release him. I'm not going to do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do, actually, is instead... Uh, so we need a backup point guard, and we also could potentially use a backup center. So I think I want to look at backup centers real quick. So you have Ennis Freedom. Again, I just it's so weird seeing his name like that, but I know he changed it to that. And you got uh, Elise Johnson, who could, or Alizé Johnson, I think is how you actually say it. Um, Alizé Johnson, I'm actually going to give him a uh, one-year deal to be our backup center, potentially. So we're going to give Alizé Johnson a contract to be our backup center. And uh, this rotation is going to be a little bit of a log jam, but this honestly gives us the potential of potentially making trades later on. So you got Garland and Sexton. You got Jared Allen, Evan Mobley, Karis Avert, Laurie Markin, and Isaac Okoro. So one thing I do want to look at before we go into this next season is shot tendencies. So uh, Garland's is kind of low. I'm going to boost it up and then Sexton and then Karis Avert. Oh my God. Karis, Karis Avert's shot tendency is crazy, actually. Uh, so we'll probably leave it like that the way it is. All right. So we went with Sexton, Garland, and Levert all together. Was that the right move or should the Cleveland Cavaliers sign and trade Sexton for something else? Let me know what you guys think the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to do in real, real life or what you want to see them do. Uh, again, I don't know whether they will or not. So we'll see. Power ranking only lands as number 26. So I'm a little disappointed, but uh, the rotation is going to look like this. It's going to be Garland, Sexton, Kerstover, Mobley, Jarrett Allen, Markinen as the sixth man, Isaac Okoro, Keegan Murray, and Alizé Johnson. So I think we have a pretty good roster. I think this team should be able to make the playoffs. And uh, let's see, seven seconds. Uh, Grit and Grind would be a three star, I believe. So or it's actually a three and a half. So you know what? We'll run into a Grit and Grind system. Let's go ahead and see if this Cleveland Cavaliers team can make the playoffs here in season number two, hopefully. Uh, 2K didn't let us make it the first season, so hopefully this season we can actually make it this time. So uh, 2K is being weird right now. I'm not sure why I clicked simulate regular season and it stopped at this particular date. And when I click simulate, it doesn't do anything. I'm very confused on why this is happening. Um, it's literally not doing anything. I'm clicking A. I. This is what I've been dealing with. Like I said, this is why I didn't upload a video earlier today. It's just 2K is being weird. It's not simulating, so maybe I have to exit out of here real quick. I'm not really sure what's going on, but I just want to show you guys real quick what I've been dealing with here in 2K. It's not sim. I don't know if anyone else is having this problem, but I try to simulate the rest of the season, and it's literally just not moving. What is going on? So I'm back after a while, finally. So basically what I had to do is I had to go to a completely different file for it to even simulate even further than what we were. So the simulation went a little bit better for us. As you guys saw, we were like 26, 28 when I showed you guys I couldn't simulate through whatever it was, February. Uh, we got the fourth seed this season. Basically what I did is, like I said, we jumped to a whole new file. What I think is happening is I think 2K share scenarios are like, they're bug for me at least. I don't know if you guys or if anyone else is having this problem, but it's just not really working for me as much as uh, it should be. Uh, so what I did is I basically tried to replicate as much as we did in the previous offseason. So we're still kind of in the same timeline, of course. Uh, we're still in the second season, uh, but this time the simulation went a little bit better for us. And we still have, we still have Colin Sexton on like a one-year $12 million contract that the Chicago Bulls gave us. I still drafted Keegan Murray, and I still have Alizé Johnson. I think those were the two or three acquisitions. Our second round picks are a little bit different. I'm not going to lie about that. But yeah, unfortunately, 2K is just bugging a little bit, so... Man, uh, the progression on this file is way better than uh, the other one I was just on because uh, we got Garland up to an 89, Jared Allen up to an 89. Honestly, bro, I'm about to stop using 2K share scenarios, it feels like, because it's just, 
This is actually 2K's roster, by the way. This is not me or anyone else messing with the progression rate. This is actually 2K's. So Garland and Allen and Mobley are progressing way better than that follow I was literally just using. But I don't know, man. Let me know if you guys are having any problems like I am that you guys are seeing. But 22 from Garland, 23 from Sexton, 17 from Levert, 15 from Jerry Allen, 12 from Lauren Markkinen, 11 from Evan Mobley, 7.5 from Isaac Okoro, Osmond with 7, and Keegan Murray with 4 points. All right, so... Playing the Atlanta Hawks now in the first round. Uh, we got Trey Young, Herter, Hunter, Collins, Capella, Unkongwu, Gallinari, Bogdan, Madonovic, Jalen Johnson, Jaden Hardy, and Chris Dunn. Um, we're just going to simulate current round. Let's just see what happens when we simulate current round. Somebody current round, and we lose the first two, but we end up winning the next four. So we're on to the second round to play the Boston Celtics. We have Bradley Beal playing point guard for them. So they got Bradley Beal in free agency, it looks like. How do the Boston Celtics even free up that much money? Like, I feel like every time I've done a Celtics rebuild, I never have that much money freed up to go get Bradley Beal. But maybe I'm just not doing something right. I don't know. But uh, Jalen Brown, Jason Tandem, Grant Williams, Robert Williams, and Bradley Beal, of course. I don't know if we beat the Boston Celtics, but hey, you never know. Anything can happen. So many current round. And uh, we win the first game, but unfortunately dropped the next four. So sucks, but it is what it is. And we got the New Orleans Pelicans going on to win it all, of course. Finals MVP goes to Zion Williamson. So... Since I've had so many problems, I'm going to make this the last offseason. I don't want to go too far in today's video. It already took me long enough to get, uh, you know, get to another file. Uh, but I don't think we're going to have our draft pick this offseason, obviously. It's going to go to the Indian Pacers. It's going to convey. So we'll have that uh, pick go to uh, the Pacers. And then staff signing, DB Bickerstaff. I think we're going to just try to get a wing whisper if we can. And we don't. We can't. I, I just, every time that message pops up, I just don't deal with it, man. I, I hate this new staffing system. I, I feel like I say that every video, but I literally hate it. I just don't love it at all. But I wish 2K would go back to what it used to be. Uh, the training camps was like 1,000% better. But uh, if we go to the draft night, don't think we have a draft pick. We have a second round pick from the Warriors, it looks like. So, Laurie Market and Jared Allen and Keegan Murray, we're going to leave that all the same. I guess we'll jump into this draft and see if we can get here in the second round. The Pacers are picking right behind us, are, uh, oddly enough. You got shooting guards on the board, Marcus Bagley. Uh, I don't really think we need another uh, small forward. It seemed like we had enough. So I'll just take Alan Flanagan here with this uh, selection. Victor went number one to the Thunder. That's a great addition to their team. So we'll take Alan here in the second round. Player options. Uh, Osman, uh, weirdly enough, I'm actually going to decline it. I really don't think we need him on the roster. We have so many wings as it is. I think I would rather free up that money. So Garland and Sexton are both free agents now, obviously um sexton i think would be an unrestricted free agent obviously now uh but we'll just leave it the way it is uh Car garland of course we got to resign but again it's almost like decision time but uh sexton was so good for us in the video and then oh my goodness all three of them are free agents so yeah this would be big decision time for uh cleveland is this the three guys you want to commit to um i don't know but since lavert obviously is the title of the video i'm going to be bringing him back 100 i don't really know what the future holds uh for cleveland doing that in real life but i'm going to go ahead and bring him back and then i want to bring garland back 100 percent as well so we're going to offer karis avert an extension obviously i don't want to lose him he's the title of the video i don't want to renounce garland and i don't want to renounce Sexton. i don't know what 2k is like suggesting but we're not doing that where well, that would be the dumbest thing for us to do right now so we'll Extend Levert. Garland's getting an offer. Of course, going to match that. And I don't want to renounce Sexton because he was our leading scorer. So uh, let's just say for real life, for instance, Sexton does get a one-year deal from Cleveland. And he has a year that he did. I think Cleveland would extend him. Uh, or they would trade him, at least. Or something like that. You, you guys know how it goes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign him, though. I'm going to sign him back. I'm going to keep calling Sexton here since he was our leading scorer last year. So it's going to be Garland. You have Sexton and Isaac Okoro. You have Keegan Murray, Levert. Evan Mobley, Lauren Markin, and then Jarrett Allen and Drew Time. So is there any way we can make this roster even better is the question I have. So can we get a backup center or a backup point guard who's just tons better? Shake Milton's already looking like a really good addition for that. So I'm going to sign Shake Milton to a three-year extension, or not an extension, a three-year contract, and he'll be our brand new backup shooting guard. And Bradley Beal's actually a free agent this offseason, and I find it very weird that he doesn't have a single offer that's over one year. That's insane to me, but whatever. It is 2K. Why am I surprised? And then Osmond, I won't be bringing back. Derek Favors, we could do that, but I'm cool. So let's go to player progression and see how it treats us this season. So player progression, uh, we got Alizé Johnson back, but everyone is a 90. Obviously, Sexton, Okoro, Levert, they're all 80s, uh, 84, 82, 82. Markman's up to an 80, but our three best players are 90 overall. So, um, I think this season, this third and final season, since I've been dealing with so much 2K problems in the last two days, I think we have a good potential here to obviously still be in the playoffs again. I'm actually not going to load draft because, like I said, I'm going to make this the last season since I've been dealing with so many issues. But I think this team should be able to make the postseason, right? 
Um, hopefully, anyway. I, I think that ideally you'd love to see them make the playoffs. So we're going to go ahead and sum this third and final season. Let's see if the Cleveland Cavaliers can... Uh, make the postseason this time or they did last year let's see if we can make it again i guess i should say so this third and final season went really good for us mvp goes to joel Embiid. we were the first seed in the eastern conference which you love to see we went 57 and 25 all nba first team luca trey young and honest uh tatum and bead all nba second team and all nba third team so no cavaliers representing in any of these all nba teams we have all defensive teams though uh yes yeah, so we have evan Mobley making all defensive second team so that's good uh, but here we go. We are the first seed in the East. Does that mean we win a championship, though? That doesn't always mean that. Sexton, again, was our leading scorer with 21. Garland had 21 as well. Sexton, or not Sexton. Jared Allen was 16 and 12. Levert had 16 and Evan Mobley with 15. So honestly, man, I think if Cleveland had this core right here, uh, again, I don't know if it's going to be Sexton or not, but if they did have this, I really like it. I really do like this team for Cleveland. So could definitely be a problem in the future. And you still have Laurie Markin as a six man, potentially. You don't want to continue to start him at small forward, obviously. I don't really know what they're going to do there. But we're going to go ahead and see what we're going to be playing. We're playing the Indiana Pacers. How funny is that? So we're playing the Pacers who traded Karis Avert to Cleveland. Hopefully, they don't find a way to upset us here, right? Somebody current round against Indiana. And uh, we are going to... Oh, my gosh, dude. If we would have lost that, I would have blew a gasket. We almost blew a 3-0 to zero lead. How funny would that have been? I feel like it would have been funny for you guys at home, but I would have been raging. I'm not going to lie. Okay. We didn't do it. We get to play Philadelphia now. So we got Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, Tyrese Maxey, and Tobias Harris. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Somebody current around against Philadelphia, and we are going to beat them in seven. We make it to the Eastern Conference Finals with Karis Avert. Let's go. Now we got Detroit. Kate Cunningham, Killian Hayes, Dylan Brooks. I love LeBron James is in Detroit. Did Bronny James get Bronny James get drafted here or something? No, he didn't. I don't know what LeBron is doing in Detroit. How funny would it be? My next chapter, Detroit Pistons. I'm going to end off my career in the Motor City. All right. Well, let's see if we can beat LeBron James, former Cleveland Cavaliers. Somebody current round. And we beat them. Let's go. Now we're in the NBA Finals playing the Memphis Grizzlies. John Morant, Desmond Baines, Zara Williams, and 98 overall John Morant. All right, man. It's all or nothing here. Somebody current round. And we are going to lose in seven to the Memphis Grizzlies. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay. Well, you know what? That was still a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. Should we do an Indiana Pacers rebuild tomorrow? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, guys, let me know if you're using your own 2K share scenario or if you're doing 2K scenarios at home on the, the next gen. If you're having problems, definitely let me know because I would love to know if I'm not the only one dealing with this. But thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think about Harrison Vert to Cleveland? I love it personally. But for now, this is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.